Hello there, I'm Sir Class, and I'm going to show you how to arrange your beats in FL Studio. We're going to split this video into three main parts, which is the concepts, right? Then the structure itself, and then transitions. When you're trying to structure out your beats, there are um, some things you should know, you should always have at the back of your mind. You should make sure your structure itself feels familiar. We don't want too many surprises along the way, whether it's your verse, your chorus, your pre-chorus, your hook, wherever the part may be, it should feel familiar, especially when you're entering up the second half of the song, maybe the second verse, the second chorus. You can add a little bit of spice here and there, but overall, it should have the same theme and context as the um, original starting portion of the song, right? And also, you don't want to have your um, beats sounding flat line like sounding either too high just staying up there high or sounding low just staying there low. i'm talking about loudness I'm talking about the energy level you don't want to sound too groovy all through or sound too down tempo all through you want to play with the energy but even though the song overall may be a groovy track or a down tempo track you want to move the energy up and down up and down you want it to continuously move from a climax to an anti-climax or from a high point to a low point to a midpoint like you should have that continuous wave right kind of like a tidal wave you should go up and down up and down this makes it enjoyable for the listener and even the artist that's going to jump on the beats okay and also you want to make sure that your transitions are great that's if you're moving from your verse into your hook it should sound seamless it shouldn't sound abrupt or sudden and if you're moving from your intro to your verse or your intro to your chorus it should sound like it's actually moving through it. So whenever you're trying to build, maybe you're building a verse and an intro is before your verse, make sure you keep playing it back to listen and make sure that it moves smoothly between the intro and the verse, okay? Then same thing with your chorus, pre-chorus, and all other parts. And also, a bridge helps connect parts of a song. Maybe you are trying to move from a verse to your um, hook and it sounds too abrupt. You may introduce a bridge in there to help, just like... A real life bridge it helps connect places right so you help connect parts of your song and also make sure you keep it simple overall you don't want an overly complicated song structure keep it really really simple as much as you can i know you want to show that you're a genius and i believe you are a genius but keep it as simple as you can all right so we have our um beat right here So that's we have our kick, our percussions, right? Our keys, pads, melodies, and everything, even with the 808 and the guitar melody already played out right now. Let's see how we can make this into a full song, okay? And so remember, I said that you need to make sure your structure is really, really simple, right? And we're going to assume the structure of intro, moving to a verse, moving to a chorus, then moving to another verse, then another chorus, and an outro, okay? So we're going to just select all of this and, you know, just give some space, give some space, right? There's no formula here. Just give as much space as you possibly can, right? Because we're going to really stretch this out a lot, right? And you need to make sure at this point you are using the bar, right, in your quantize because we're, we're going to be counting in bars, okay? And also make sure at the top of your screen right here is in it's counting in minutes. If it's not counting in minutes, just click it. It's going to count in minutes rather than bar, okay? So now, when you're trying to set out your intro, you can either make your keys play first or your drums with your keys or just your drums. It's really up to you, but make it really, really simple because like I said, the energy needs to move from either from a low point to a high point, from a high point to a low point, okay? So let's... um. Start with our keys. For example, let's say this guy right here. And we can most intros are typically within four to eight bars. So let's keep ours at eight bars, okay? Then we'll press alternate T again to create a verse. Now, this is just we're just laying the foundation. Doesn't mean this is all there is to our intro. We can do more, definitely. So we're going to just select this and copy this right because we want maybe our drums to move in there next. And we want our verse to be eight bars, but because most verses can be between eight to 16 bars, but let's keep ours at eight bars, okay? And then we want a bridge, okay? Or a pre-chorus, some do call it pre-chorus, depends on the role it plays. 
and depends on what the artist sings, but let's call it a bridge, okay? We want a bridge for lasting for about eight bars as well, okay? And then we want our chorus or our hook, alternate C, lasting for 16 bars. And it could also be eight bars, depends on how long or short you want the song. So we don't want, we just, I just basically want like two verses in. So if you want three verses, maybe you can make the first hook eight bars, then the other two hooks, 16 bars, right? Super. I just want two hooks and two verses and that's it. So then I could just copy my drums because most times your hook, we have drums playing in there, okay? So now let's call here, this, this is second verse. All right, so now let's build down. So if you've been struggling with getting pro mixes, making better beats, recording vocals. I do offer one-on-one -on -one training. Yes, one-on-one -on -one training. And all you have to do is click the link in the description below that says one-on-one -on -one training. You feel a very simple form so I can help understand you better and what you need and how I can help you get there. So when you fill this form, I'm going to get back to you as soon as possible and we can get started on your journey to making much better music in no time. Trust me, it doesn't have to be a house. So making music doesn't have to be a house. You don't have to spend many, many, many endless hours on YouTube looking for tutorials. With just a very short time, within about four to six weeks, roughly within that range, I can get you to your goals in no time. Yes, with money back guarantee. So don't forget to click the link in the description after you're done with this video to fill up a form, and I'm going to get back to you pronto. All right, now let's get back to the tutorial. We're done building sideways. Now let's build down, okay? So we're going to see what elements we got to our intro to make it sound even more interesting. Although some songs have just simple keys like this playing, and that could be the intro, for example. That could work, and it depends on how simple you really, and minimal you want your beats, because some beats are really minimal, some beats are a bit more um, melodic, right? So it depends on how minimal you want your beats to be. And you can see how this transitions from here. See, it just flows, okay? And you have to always make sure every section you're working on flows between the previous and the next, it flows, it connects, okay? You don't want it to sound strange and abrupt. So let's just copy this in here. Let's see if we've got anything more interesting to our uh, intro, right? Nah, I don't like that. Let's see. I think I like this. You can see the energy is going up and then it's going to come down now. Now it's, it's more chilled, right? So I'm going to have this in my bridge as well. So now I want my bridge to step up the energy a bit, right? So I'm going to, let's say, let's try this, bring in some pads. Typically pads and bass, I want the easiest way to raise your energies up. Let's see what other sound can we bring in. Let's bring in this ambience melody again. Yeah, now it sounds more like energy is, is um, lifting up, right? Now let's build into the hook, right? And of course, we're going to have our lead keys, right? That's our keys. We're also going to have some elements from here. And let's try out some elements from here too as well. And of course, our piano lead melody. You 
you can see it just flows smooth into it right so now let's see and, and a rule of thumb is after every eight bars you want to make sure something comes in or goes out to keep the energy interesting so now the, our hook is 16 bars so we're going to assume we're going to break this into half with our eyes right because this is eight bars this is eight bars so now let's bring in this melody right here and then let's see let's see how it flows you can see that flows right it flows in smoothly right now time for our bass because i can see we have a bass line right here so let's see you can have your bass running through your entire track if you like and you can just make it or you can just take it out and make make it start from here or you can also take it out here and it all depends on how you want to arrange your bass so there's no rule you can have your bass starting from your intro okay there's no rule on to where your bass should start from So you can have your bass coming at any point, okay? Just make sure it goes with the energy. It doesn't just mess the energy up. It keeps the energy going from up to down, high to low, high to low, climax to anticlimax, okay? So I can see we have this element right here. Now you don't have to use all your elements all the time, but let's see what this sounds like. I think I should have this in the, in the entire hook. I think I should have this in the entire hook. That's a, a pad. You can see how simple the structure is, really predictable and interesting as well. So now we can just go and write, so we're going to repeat this to have a verse again, then a hook right so we just get to copy all of this right and hold your shift and your left mouse and copy it in here right you can see how it flows effortlessly right climax then anti-climax now it's chilled again all right so let's see this section right here we can decide to have our um, outro here if we like. And there are many ways to create your outro. You can make your outro just fade out as the beat if you like, or you can make a dedicated outro track if you like. And that could be your outro. Your outro could be four bars, eight bars, or just a fade off the um, chorus or the verse, depends on where the section is. But let's name this properly, alternative again. This is still the bridge, right? And this is still, this is still the hook, okay?
So it's all about just moving the blocks around and seeing where it fits best. And onto transitions now, there are some ways you can still spice up our transitions. We can use drum rolls, silence, right? And sound effects, but let's just use silence for example. Let's say, for example, I use a quarter beat and I reduce the length of this guy right here. You see, that helps impact the beat some more. I could do the same thing here again. So if you have drum rolls, you can just play your drum rolls in, or you can just do a quick kick roll, right? Or a snare roll, depends. Let me just quickly show it to you. Going to, let's say this is our kick. Where's our kick? So I'm just going to. Spread it out, okay. That could be what you do. And you can have that also for your... Depends on you, right? But I'm just going to leave that blank, right? That's just an idea. And you can have the same thing happening right here. You can still have some silence here. And you can still keep taking out elements. Then you can come to your verse again and take out some elements. Now that, that, that didn't sound as good, but let's take out the kick instead and see. So these are ways you can use to spice up your tracks. You can also use drum rolls to add more spice and sound effects like claps, crashes, reverse um, crash, and all of that to spice up your arrangement. But essentially, this is how you put together a really good arrangement, okay? You make sure your melodies are, are nice, your drums are good, and you can also play new melodies. If you feel like the arrangement isn't, it doesn't suit some of your melodies, you can add new melodies like a solo or an entire new lead melody, okay? So it doesn't have to, you don't have to st stick to what you already have. Some songs even have multiple lead melodies, maybe a lead melody in the verse, then a different lead melody in the hook, and a different lead melody in the intro, and a different lead melody on the outro, right? So you can have multiple lead melodies, okay? So just play around with the boxes, move them around and see how you can make your song interesting. I hope this tutorial helps. I'm Sir Classy. See you next on another tutorial. Hit the subscribe button to keep up with me. Cheers.